All right, I won the die roll, playing first, keeping this hand. Okay. Boros mirror match here. Alright, we'll take it. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna swing. And we'll play this sure shot and then pass. So no exert on the Spearmaster. I think I might just offer the trade here. Okay. So they used a lot of resources there. They still ended up pretty good, but... Uh, a desert draw there would have been really nice. Um, so I guess we're going to attack for three and then deserts hold the uh, spear master. I'm doing the Spearmaster because the Exert, I think, is significant on it. It gets to crash a lot more often than I think the Kenra does. The Kenra deals less damage overall. We're in a pretty tight race already. Oh, well, that's really odd. Just for three damage? All right. I mean, that makes me feel pretty good. They basically... Yeah, that's that can't be that great for them. Okay. True Heart Twins is, on the other hand, a great draw. So we're going to play the Twins. And we're not going to exert just yet. We'll save that for next turn, because with Brute Strength, that's going to be just a boatload of damage, so... Firebrand Archer, not super intimidated. Desert's Hold, on the other hand, pretty bad news for us. They gain life, they stop our main threat, they deal us damage, they gain life. So, all around bad for us there, unfortunately. So, Flameblade Adept plus Sand Strangler 
is what we're going to have to do. Not thrilled about it. They have one card left in hand. All right. So we'll bash with our survivor. Really wish we had a desert, but we don't. So next turn, if we exert the survivor, all of our guys get pumped with the brute strength that might be good enough. We can hope. Ooh, all right, that's phenomenal. So let's get in there. Yeah, this is very good for us. They do have one card left in their hand. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. So let's, uh, Blur of Blades here. And Brute Strength, uh, I guess the Sand Strangler, because if I do it to the Resolute Survivors and then they have Removal, they won't lose either of their guys, so I guess we want to at least make them kill our Sand Strangler or die, so we'll do this. And that should do it. All right, got lucky there that they didn't have very good uh, play that last game. And also that Shefet Dune's turn wasn't particularly good for them. But, I mean, we're basically running the mirror match here. They're focusing. Uh, I feel like our deck's better, though, because we, you know, we've got more premium stuff going on than Crash Through, than Kopesh, than Nimble Blade Kenraz. But they have the Firebrand Archer. They have the Spearmaster, which is good. The Dunes would be would have been great for our deck, too. Um, I think we bring in the God Pharaoh's Faithful. I think that's pretty clear. We get to bring in the Shonner's Defeat. Very happy I picked that up now. So let's dump uh, let's dump the Pursue Glory. I think in the aggro matchup I like this a lot less. And then let's dump uh, it might just be the Adept because I should probably swap a creature out and I think that I think I like the Adept less than like a Kenra. I don't actually know about that, to tell you the truth, but I mean, I could just drop a Kenrod, but I prefer the Adept. What creature, we saw a Firebrand Archer, we saw Nimble Blade Kenra, either way, def they're both going to be pretty bad. Maybe I'll just, okay, we'll, we'll diversify and keep the Adept and cut a Kenra, and we're definitely playing the Faithful here. It gets to block, it gets to gain us life, I think that's very, very significant in this matchup. This is yet again, just another reason why I love Sunscourge Champions so much. Such a good card to have in a matchup like this, so important to play it, gain life, trade, play it, gain life, kill them with it. So much value compacted into this card in a matchup like this. We do have Leave to Chance, because uh, we know they have Desert's Hold, but I'm not in love with it, so... I think we'll just keep it the same otherwise and run it back. All right, looks like we probably should mulligan this. One lander. We do have the Chandra's defeat, but I don't want to just straight lose to not having lands. All right, this hand is riskier, but all right, at least we get to keep that, I guess. I mean, we have the Desert's Hold with the Desert now. We have Compulsory Rest. We have a lot of removal in here, so it could buy us the time that we need, plus the life gain should be significant, but we are going to need red mana at some point. No two drop from them is good, and we got the red mana we needed. Very good. So we'll play this steward, and uh, this mulligan worked out pretty well for us so far.
solitary camel. Okay. Chandra's defeat. Also okay. So, do I want to... We're going to use the steward. The question is really... Do I want to just play compulsory rest on a camel? I mean... I suppose I do. Okay. This way I can leave up the Chandra's defeat rather than use the desert's hold. And the only reason I'm hitting the camel now with something is it's not like I'm going to take three damage. I don't want to take three damage, so might as well just turn it off. Binding mummy, not that important there. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's make our dude get to play Emberhorn and pass. three removal spells in hand, which is also pretty nice. Crested Sunmare, okay. So the problem with the Sunmare is they're going to be able to gain life off this compulsory rest, so they're going to get some indestructible horses. So I guess that means we are in actually quite a bit of trouble here. They're at least going to have one indestructible horse. It's not an activated ability, it's a triggered ability. So I guess we just attack with Emberhorn Minotaur and then pass. Definitely not exerting. So they're going to take it. We're going to pass. I guess we're hoping that they swing with the Sun Mare, but I'm not holding out too much hope. There's a chance they do. I just don't think it's great, so... Hopefully they don't notice the compulsory rest, but I think that would be wishful thinking. Yeah, they totally notice, so kind of a bummer that our card is what's netting them value. It makes me a little bit sad, but what can you do? Yep, they were also wise to not attack, so things are going south already, which is a little bit, a little bit sad, but what can you do? So, we can Deserts hold the Indestructible Horse, swing with the Minotaur, but the problem is then we just don't have the mana to do the farm to market. So, I guess we Deserts hold the Indestructible Horse, exert Smash with the Minotaur. And then I guess we're just hoping they do not have more life gain, but if they do, then... We're in pretty serious trouble. could work out for us if they have Kindled Fury, because they may... Uh oh I guess if they have... Yeah. They may just... Uh, yeah, they probably have their, their Kindled Fury here. A 
wish that I could Chandra's defeat so badly, but I, w I, I wish that I could so badly do I wish I could, but I can't. I also can't farm to market. Not drawing a land there is just so painful. The amount of value that we would have netted here is absurd, but we just did not net the value that I wanted or needed. So now we're just getting hosed, which makes me a little bit sad, but that's okay. So losing everything, uh, opponent is left with an indestructible horse, don't have farm to market open. Going pretty south pretty quick. And they get us with Blazing Volley. This is a pretty heartbreaking, uh, heartbreaking turn of events here. So I guess we'll Chandra's defeat and Nimble Blade Kenra, which is also just terribly unexciting. Horrifically unexciting. Not what I wanted Chandra's defeat to be at all, but what can you do? So we don't get the Crested Sun Mare. We're taking too much damage from it. Uh, Godfair is faithful. I guess we'll just play it and pass and try and find an opportunity to hit that Sun Mare with the farm to market again before our opponent gains life. Okay. They didn't fling it at our face. We dealt with it. We had to use two premium removal spells to deal with the Sun Mare. But at least it's dealt with. I guess now we got to deal with a, a Burning Fist Minotaur. Alright, so they have a lot of good cards. And we've got a lot of work to do. So, not in the best shape here, to be perfectly frank. No cards left in hand, so that means the Minotaur is not a big threat. I do wish we could do a lot more against that than we can. Um, so I can prevent 4 damage to myself if I block with the Warrior, but I don't think that I am. I mean, I can't attack with it. I, maybe I am supposed to block with it. All right. Dauntless Haven is quite good. Can fly over top. We can attack with the survivor. Offer the trade if they want. Might have to be okay with that. They have this Chef at Dunes though, which is a little bit intimidating let's just attack with it and see what happens because I do get to exert this anyway and ping them I don't even mind if they don't block, because then the Dauntless Haven follow-up looks a lot better. Next turn I can exert and untap it. It's going to be a relatively difficult race to win, but I'm not sure we have a ton of choice here. How good is Blazing Volley against us in general? I almost feel like it's horrible against our deck other than an Insider and a Steward. I guess it hits Dauntless Haven. And then that's it. So it hits like three cards in our deck. 
that's really not that much. Okay, they decided to take it, which is actually fine with me. Now we get to follow up with the Dauntless Haven. And pass. We get to exert our steward and drain our opponent too, which is nice. I think now we're actually going to take the Burning Fist Minotaur. No play is good news. So now we smash with Dauntless Haven and Resolute Survivor. Although, now they... Tr well, I think it's still fine. I think that at this point they're going to trade, but they have more creatures. They have the Chef at Dunes. I think it actually still makes sense to attack. Like, it's good synergy with our Steward, but I think we better do it. This is actually fine, I think. I guess I'd rather take out two of their creatures. Because of the Chef at Dunes, basically. And we still have Dauntless Haven Steward Synergy, which is good. It is good. It's very good. Hmm. So let's see, they're going to take us to, so, yeah, we, we actually do have to block the Burning Fist or we die. Well, no, we don't die, but we're going to block the Burning Fist here. Or I guess, no, we block the, yeah, okay, this makes sense. Okay, another camel with lifelink. We're going to have to deal with that. Sure shot. I guess we're going to have to attempt to trade off here, but let's uh, exert. Attack with Avon. Untap exerter. Get in for two. Play the sure shot. Play the land. Pass. Gain our life, play the land, and pass. So now I guess we can double block the camel with the warrior tokens, which is actually pretty good. So we have to use it in response. That just holds a pretty sick rip for him, actually. They have no cards left in hand, though, which is good news. They almost needed to attack with the Burning Fist first, I guess. Insider here is terribly unexciting. Um, hmm. So yeah, I guess we attack with Dauntless Haven and play Insider and gain a life and pass.
Okay, so they're using the dunes. So we'll figure out how we want to best do this. Okay, so you get that, you double ping us, we go to nine, and we have to do blocks. So they can't pump this, which means this might be a good opportunity to try and take this out if we can. Um, gonna have to deal with this, but I think we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to take out the things that we can. So let's figure this out. Um, if we block with, I think we block the Sure Shot and the Minotaur, or, or the Aven on the Minotaur, because that way we can just take it out. Three damage, they can only kill one or the other, they're tapped out, so that's good. Next is what we got to do here. So maybe we just are supposed to chump two things, which isn't great either, but these two are going to be exerted at least. So maybe it's in our best interest to just take the camel out, but then it's actually lethal. So we can't do that. Triple chump is pretty bad. Really tough spot here. I don't like any of our things that we can do. I really don't like anything we can do here. Which makes it a really difficult choice on what to do. I think we have to do damage prevention, which I do hate, but otherwise we just die. I mean, wait a second, wait a second, we can do a better block, I think. So we can do, no, 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 we actually do have to do this. We do have to do this. Because they need the two power, so we do have to triple chump, I think. Okay, I'm not happy about this, but this game went straight downhill since, <laughs> um, what's his face? Since Crest of Sunmare was played, this game was just a straight downward slope, so, um, we're lucky to even be alive, quite frankly. So, we just take... We just lose everything, and we need to just rip pure gas for the rest of the game. So, step one, not accomplished at all. What am I hoping to rip? True Heart Twins... Steadfast Sentinel, Sunscourge Champion. Oh yeah, we actually still do have a million really good cards in here, but we just have to, you know, draw them. So, I guess we have to trade this off. I mean, I'm not keeping pace with the camel, so I guess we block it. Brute strength, that actually is pretty good to tell the truth. Now we can block the Spearmaster and kill it. Vizier is good. Hmm. So we can... 
I guess just offer the trade. Play the Defiant Kenra and pass. And if they want to exert, yeah, they don't. So now we'll exert and get him for five. Yep, it's pretty troublesome. So we're, we're basically just straying, playing straight mirror match here. So we have open fire, which I'm not entirely convinced does enough here, does it? Alright, so I guess we kill the survivor now, and then pass. That way the faithful can still block the champ, and we can block the Ceradon if need be. I've used a lot of time and there's still a very good chance we lose this so I'm not going to talk as much. I really have to focus on the game because like I said I've just used entirely too much time trying to successfully navigate this game and like I, it, I'm not feeling very confident that I can win this right now. I mean we've managed to do okay but I basically have to chill pretty hard here. Blur of Blades, uh, alright, um, I think we just pass, actually, I could attack with the Vizier, but the Sun Scourge Champ is what the problem is, so. Okay, well, at least I have my Blur of Blades, my handy-dandy Blur of Blades, so we'll just do that now. Gain our life. Sand Strangler is good. Wish we had a better target for it. But, I mean, I can wait on it, I guess, too. I may, I mean, I'm going to have to get by the champ anyway, I think. I don't have my Desert's Hold anymore, is that right? No, I do have my Desert's Hold. So it might actually be in my best interest to just... Actually, yeah, let's hit the champ. And then I can... Oh, I, that was post-combat, so I could have gotten in for seven. I screwed up. Now I'm just making mistakes because... Yeah, now I'm just making mistakes. 
because I'm in a hurry because I have seven minutes, ten seconds, and this is only game two. So making mistakes, which I'm not happy about. I should have gone in for an assault there using the Vizier, but I guess he would have been able to smash back pretty effectively, so maybe maybe it wasn't the worst mistake ever, but not great for us either. And we don't have Pursue Glory to just go over the top anymore either. Um, Alright, I guess we chill. Um, our opponent will deck before us, so if we can live long enough, we could actually win. Okay, this is potentially good. So let's do our blocks. Um, okay, so we actually lose out on quite a bit of value here, but no choice. So let's finish this dude off, gain our life. All right, so Sun Scourge Champion is going to get us unless we can rip our own or rip something else here. There we go. We can attack with Sand Strangler. I guess we could have left... No, I don't actually think it matters. I was going to say we could leave the Strangler back to double block the champ, but I'd rather just potentially jump with uh, champ here. I think it looks better. I'm trying to F2. I know I've been recommended to do that as often as I can, but I may I definitely make more mistakes when I'm using F2. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But like I said, I also make more mistakes when I'm in a big hurry. Okay, Scrapper's a problem, pretty clearly. Didn't give it haste, though, which is also interesting. Flame Blade Adept looks pretty bad here, but that's alright. I mean, there's a chance we deck our opponent. It's not great, but there is a chance. Okay. So let's figure out how we want to block here. I think that the blocks are pretty clearly... That's a bummer, but what can you do? So I'm not exactly sure what to do now. That magma spray kind of just ruined everything, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a bummer.
Uh, all right. So we'll have to go to game three. I have less than five minutes to win. So we're in a really bad spot now, which I don't I don't really ever like to be tight on time ever. It's the worst feeling in the world, but that's exactly the situation we're in. So I'm going to have to just really, really focus hard and try to minimize mistakes, but I'll do my best. That's all I've got. I think we're just going to dump the Adept. I was really disappointed with how bad it looked there. So Kenra is terrible as well, but I, I think I guess I'd, I think I'd rather have the extra power. I really don't know. So we'll, we'll do this instead and uh, ideally do better. But yeah, Crested Sun Mare. Like I said, that was just, unfortunately, the beginning of the end as soon as we saw that. So, bummer. But, all right, let's see what we can do in game three here. And I do have to play relatively quickly. Which, like I said, I really dislike that, but no choice. I'm going to have to hammer the F2 as quickly as I can. Okay, so I think we just offer trade. F6, F6. Okay. So we'll abrade that and then we'll bash. I think they're going to trade now. They do. So we'll play the Vizier and pass. No attacks. Don't want to see Sun Mare. Bummer. Play this, play Sentinel, pass. I really don't want to use a Desert's Hold on a Sun Mare because it just will not win us the game. Absolutely will not win us the game. Not not even kind of. So we unfortunately we just really do not have a way to deal with Sun Mare very effectively. I'm surprised they didn't attack with it to be honest. We're tapped out and we don't have the power on board, but um, obviously I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, <clears throat> so I guess maybe they just don't want us to get the steadfast sentinel. I'm not sure, but yeah, I mean, the longer that the longer that sun is out there, the it's just going to be inevitability here. All right, so I think we're just going to block here and then do this. I don't mind trading my faithful for a trick or something. So I think I may just deserts hold that burning fist. I was kind of hoping to wait till I get a desert, but I don't know if I'll have that luxury. 
All right, that's a bummer, but I don't know what to do about it. They're going to get their indestructible horse, and we're going to get beaten down. Yeah. All right, so I guess we'll take seven. So we'll play the champ, gain our life, play the hold on the indestructible horse, and pass. So we'll block with the champ. Wish we could do more. All right, so we can play the Minotaur or get the champ back. Um, I guess we'll do the champ because then I'll have more toughness available for blocking the Sun Mare. So I could double block it and just lose my champ, which seems better. Yeah, so they're going to get another horse unless I draw a removal spell here. Yep, alright, so. So like I said, it's beginning of the end. It's going to be inevitability with the Sun Mare, which makes me a little bit sad, but I, it's just out of my hands, unfortunately. So, I'm assuming they have Kindled Fury or something along those lines. So, let's see. If I blocked everything on this, like this, and say they had Kindled Fury, they'd get six, they'd kill two things, and then we'd kill it. I think we're just going to go for this. And just do our best to take out this Sunmare. And then somehow we go through 34 cards in our opponent's deck and then never see a Jeru's Resolve. I think we're just going to concede. I can't. I can't win it in the time allotted. I can't beat indestructible horses. Even if I drew an un a compulsory rest, they'd be able to just sacrifice and get another horse. So, huge bummer. Disappointing loss. Uh, we'll see you around two.